Oh, this area does have a lot of pretty colors, though. That's that's what I like about it. This whole game is just really, really beautiful, but this area in particular just kind of like... Mwah, it's all bright and b beautiful. From what I can remember, it's a pretty big-ass area. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but... This area's got a lot of segments, sort of in a, I guess, a similar fashion to what we did with Harada Estate. We'll kind of tackle it in multiple visits, I imagine. Well, we'll talk to this guy over here. I remember this guy. This guy's really big and really sad. So we'll talk to him and try to cheer him up. We all know how cheerful the, uh, the main character is, Wolf. I think his name is Wolf, right? Or Sekiro. Sekiro is also kind of his name. Let's ask why he's crying. Would it cheer you up if you gave me a piggyback ride? A, a nice piggyback ride through the entire area? Perhaps to the end of the game? Maybe you could beat the final boss for me with your brute strength? That would be neat. I mean, it would be kind of a shitastic, cheesy way to finish the game, but... I guess it would be kind of cool for somebody, someone out there, who just finds the cheat code NPC in the form of the big Hulk humunculus guy. His head hurts, he needs some ibuprofen. Or maybe some Excedrin. I think Excedrin is the one that's like really good for headaches. I don't think I've ever tried it though. I've got to find the pure white flower. Do nothing, alright. Well anyway, this guy basically, whether we know it or not, he just gave us a side quest. Which we can complete. Uh, I'll probably do that. I don't know if I'm going to prioritize it, but... Um, I don't really all, I really don't want to spoil this guy's purpose either, but I do want to do his quest because once we do that, we kind of have some options with what we want to do with this guy. We get to decide his fate, basically. Also, can I get a drop attack from this guy? Oh, yes, I can. Hiya! Stupid monk dude. Trying to enjoy the nice view. What was he even looking at? He was guarding a broken bridge. It's like, yeah, I'm sure someone's definitely coming from that way. Nice try, buddy. Making yourself look busy. I see what you're doing. And I don't like it. Also, there's a remnant, like, right there. Should I try to jump to it? I really don't care, but... Yeah, I definitely made it. Okay, I immediately... <laughs> cool! I didn't want to see that remnant anyway. I really kind of didn't, though, because the remnants are kind of, uh... Kind of eh. Also, can I sneak up on this guy? It looks like he's facing me, but I guess not. It's kind of hard for me to tell what these bamboo midgets like. I just don't like attacking them head on a lot of the time. Because they will sort of... Like, I don't know, they're, they're posture monsters, so you kind of need to use the stupid axe. And it's just hard to figure out when they're attacking and what their attacks are, just because of the way that they're shaped. But we'll fly this kite. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really remember what this does. But I'll hold it in position here for a minute. Hopefully this doesn't just summon a sky demon to come kill me in one hit. I don't know, this might just not do anything. I mean, I'm de it definitely does something, but I don't remember what it does. So, I'm going to let go and come back later, unless I just figure out what it does. It might do something later. I have no idea. Let's see what these remnants say. Treasure! Treasure. Oh, apparently it's treasure. <clears throat> I would like to, to obtain this treasure. I don't know how, though. Here. I uh, should try back. Ugh, can I actually, like, watch? I want to watch it. That one's just like a message. These are all like, how do you leave just a message? I would love to learn how to do that. Because the actual system where you need to record yourself is, is kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, what is he doing? He's like jumping. Jumping towards that. There's like something over there. I don't know how to get over there. Does flying the kite have something to do with it? Like the only thing I could maybe think of is grappling to the kite, but that makes like no fucking sense. 
Because I don't think I can do that. Okay, um... I really want to figure out this fucking kite thing, but I also don't want to be here all day. So... This might be something I need to look up. It definitely might be something I have to look up. Now, one guy said try back, so it's like, maybe I let go and I come back here and something happens. I honestly don't remember that kite. But... I'll probably come back to it later if I remember. If I don't remember, then oopsie-daisy in advance. I'm not planning on forgetting stuff, but I'm sure it'll happen. Like, I, like during my original Dark Souls playthrough, there was, like, a bunch of stuff that I ended up forgetting. Like, not really a bunch of stuff, but there were a couple of things that I, I wanted to do and I was planning on doing them. And I just sort of, like, forgot about it and I ended up beating the game and... I think there were, like, just a couple of side quests that I, I didn't do. Is this guy going to come over here? Can I get, like, a stealthy jump on him? Because I'm pretty sure he's, like, he's got some buddies. And these guys are kind of a pain in the ass to fight in a group. I mean, most enemies are... Okay, that didn't, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Whatever. The thing about these guys is that they don't have weapons. They just sort of fight you with their Jackie Chan Jiu-Jitsu justice. And they're still pretty good, but they're kind of easy to fight one-on-one -on -one because they don't have- they can't really block your attacks. They don't have weapons. They, they sort of try to block with their arms, but it's like, dude, I have a sword. Good freaking luck. Hey, those spear- okay, this guy's got a weapon. I guess I lied. Let's see if we can get his ass over here on, like, good elevation. Oh, lord. Oh, lord. I need to remember that, like, sweep attacks are also a thing. Because normally when I see a spear guy, I just immediately jump to, like, alright, we're doing Makiri counters. That's not always the case. Not all the time. Also, I need to, like, check something real quick. Alright. I also had to blow my nose. I feel like blowing my nose right into the microphone would be kind of a terrible idea. I'm sure some people wouldn't mind, but, like, I don't know. I feel like I feel like that, that would be something that if I saw in a video, I'd be like, okay. That could be something you could have either edited out or just not done into the microphone. But it is what it is. Uh, also, these guys are a thing, so... Do I have any, like, oh no. I still don't have ninjutsus, because I haven't defeated the boss that we need to fight to unlock that. Although, we'll probably end up fighting him pretty soon. For those of you who... Oh, God. Oh, fuck. I'm really scared, even though I didn't take any damage. I could have sworn these guys did more thrust attacks. But, apparently not. They're just doing, like... Oh, what the fuck? Where'd that other guy come from? Alright, now... Okay, there's, like, three more. They just, like, replenished their numbers. Also, this guy's, like, got an Akko Sugar buff going. I didn't even know that they could do that. Here's what I got for you. Have some fire, dummy. Why did he? Oh, I thought he died from that. Oh, God. Oh, I thought he grabbed me. These guys do have a grab attack that kind of sucks. I need a death blow right now. There we go. And I need to run. This guy's got a buff. This guy's... Oh, my God. That attack hurts like a bitch. It hurts like a bitch that I did last night. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's just let them come to me. This guy can maybe get some more fire. He would like some. Oh, I thought that fire would like... I keep tricking myself with the fire. It's bonkers. I'm running out of healing items on this group of enemies just because they ended up being way bigger than I thought. Here, come here. Come here. I got something for you. This is going to be great. Oh, God. Maybe not. Hold on. Itchy Monji. Kind of kind of worked. Who wants the next Itchy Monji? You? Okay, that was just really bad. Back up. Alright, I need to, like, kill... Oh, my God. Alright, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna just do a hard retreat. Hard retreat there. Do another safety heal. That wasn't even a safety heal. That was a mandatory, like, I'm almost dead heal. Oh, my God, this sucks. These guys are working so well as a team. They're too good. And now I have, like, no healing items. Goodbye, final healing gourd. You will be dearly missed. You will be super duper missed but who knows there, there's probably an idol up ahead 
If this guy doesn't kill me, holy shit. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, should we use some pellets? I don't even have pellets on my, uh, my thingy anymore. There we go. I should also probably put my homeward idol back on here. Because I do like to whip that bad boy out. I'm so spoiled playing, like, more modern Souls-like games, because in Dark Souls 1, you didn't, uh, you didn't really obtain the ability to fast travel in that game until very late. I want to say it was, like, I'm trying to think, dude, it was, like, it was probably, like, 75% of the way through the game where you finally unlock the ability to warp between bonfires, and then you couldn't even warp between all of them. You could only warp between, like, kind of the more central ones. It was pretty poopy. In Dark Souls 1, you had to go pretty much everywhere on foot until you uh, you pretty much beat An Orlando, and then after that, you could fast travel. Because you would get the, uh, the Lord Vessel, and from there, everything was just, like, a little bit easier. I bet Poison would be alright against these guys. I could try it. There's only one way to find out. Oh my god, oh, that's not it. Here, have some poison. Da -da 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 -da. Alright, he's poison. Let's see if that... These guys are easy enough to fight kind of on their own, though. This guy's got his buff, so I'm just gonna start beating his shit up. There we go. I guess that buff gives them a little bit of oomph. Gives them more damage at the least, but... In terms of health? It is Akko Sugar, so... <clears throat> I think this guy's buffed his posture. So that's, that's fantastic. I'm real happy for you, Mr. Spear Guy. You better not fucking kill me. If you kill me, I'm gonna do this. Itchy mo- Alright, we, we had a trade there. We had a bit of a trade. Oh god, I'm- I'm choking. I'm choking! I need this guy to like- Ow, he's- Oh shit, I'm still not dead. I'm still in this, baby. I bet if I would've used my shuriken there, that would've been good. I don't know how I'm not dead. I'm glad, though. I'm very glad. I mean, I do have a Resurrect, so if I die, I, I do have another chance, but it wouldn't really mean much, because I don't have any healing items. Bottom line is, uh, Daddy needs an idol. Daddy needs his idol. So, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Gotta give Daddy what he wants. Oh, look at all these items. Uh, uh, those are spirit emblems, okay. I was, uh, I was having a visual faux pas. Here's the items, haha. <laughs> I knew that there had to be three convenient items hanging out around a tree somewhere. Also, is that a dead guy? What the hell happened to this person? There's like two dead people, one of them's all rotten and fucked up, and the other's just like a regular, like, just person chilling. That's weird. Uh, I guess I could jump down here, sure. Why not? What can I do from this tree branch? It seems I can go over here, but... Could I, like, actually knock it over there from the other side? It looks like it might have just been a... Yeah, that was just a really dumb shortcut. Like an unnecessary, like, loop around. Okay. What's up in these rafters? I can go up in there. I'm gonna continue exploring this outer area. Even though this is kind of stupid, I should probably just find an idol so I can replenish my healing shit. But nope, I'm stubborn, I'm dumb. I seek death at every turn. That is what I'm about. Even though it's it's not. I really don't like dying. I don't like dying, and whenever I die, it's all the game's fault. It's never my fault, just remember that. What the fuck, why can't I get up here? There we go. Gotta do kind of an awkward little jump. Oh, there's crickets up here, hooray. I don't even have my shuriken out, this is... Good. I need my I need my shuriken. Good old shuriken is is good for um for dealing with the crickets. The crickets are kind of a joke, but I'm at such low health that I feel like anything could kill me pretty easily. Akko sugar. All right, let's just like shuriken our way through this room, nice and carefully. There are a fucking ton of crickets in here. Da -da -da. Is there any more? Nope. Got them all? Cool. I think I got them all. Unless there's like an infinite spawn of them. I still hear them. I still hear them cricketing around. Ugh. Giant crickets would almost be as bad as giant spiders, 